Okay, so this is my view of the hard top versus soft top Yeti coolers. Now they are both in similarities. They are both similar in size and they are both similar, are exactly the same price at 250 on their respective websites and uh, amazon.com. So you can, you can find them there for 250. They are very similar in size. So going over the soft top Yeti cooler first, I love this thing. This thing is is great for mobility reasons. So you got no a lot of handles. You got two on the side, you got one in the front, also or one in the back, I should say, and then one up top. And then you also have the shoulder strap, which is nice, and the clips swivel. So if you flip this around, it'll flip with you. I won't get all Yeah, see? Just like that. So It'll swivel around with the strap so you won't have it all twisted around you, which is very nice. <clears throat> and they also come off. That's a huge plus. Let's go ahead and try that out. There we go. Just like that, which is a good thing as well. You can take that whole strap off and then put it back on. Just like that and it's adjustable, which is fantastic. So, <clears throat> you also got, they look like shotgun holders, but they're not. Uh, ammo holders, holders. But you can have, you can clip some stuff up front here. You see that? Which is also nice. And it's got a nice semi-hard top, and you can put your stuff down up on top of it. It's not going to implode on you or cave in, so that's nice. And opening it up, it's got a nice, I'll show you the zipper here. It's got a nice, durable zipper. Can you open it up? I do like the inside color. It's very, very nice inside color blue. Uh, fairly deep, not the deepest cooler ever, but it'll... It definitely will serve its purpose, and it's got nice thick walls, gear. Uh, definitely uh, would take this to the beach. The mobility on it is very, very nice. Uh, you know, you're on vacation, you want to be in relaxation mode. So you don't want to be carrying something super heavy around that's uncomfortable and that's even difficult to carry. That is not something you want to be doing on your vacation. So this, I would highly recommend this to take this to the beach. Moving on to the hardtop cooler. <clears throat> One of the big pluses on the hardtop cooler than the softtop cooler is when you want to get rid of your melted ice, this has a drain plug on the side there, as you can see. It's threaded drain plug that you can easily take out, drain out all your melted ice, and then fill it up with ice, and there you go. You don't have to take out all your stuff, unlike the soft top Yeti cooler, where you gotta take everything out, drain out your ice, your melted ice, and then fill it back up. Kind of a pain, but that's the con of the soft top Yeti cooler, and the pro of the hard top Yeti cooler. So, opening this up here, you got very durable rubber, rubber handles here. Open this up and you can see already it's got a nice rubber rubber uh, gasket here that'll uh, make a nice sealant and also you can tell the lid is very very thick very thick lid that's why that's another pro of the hardtop Yeti cooler this thing has great ice retention compared to the soft top Yeti cooler. This thing will last all day. It's on your boat, on the beach, anywhere you bring it, it'll last all day. It'll take, the ice retention is fantastic. But the mobility on this is not that, not great compared to the soft top Yeti cooler. It's very heavy already. Plus you add all your drinks and all your ice you're adding all that extra weight in, and this thing becomes such a pain to carry around. It, like I said, it's already heavy, and if you're going to the beach with it, and you're moving, 
you got a long watch, long walk to your spot. It's going to be a pain. It's very awkward if you max this thing out and wait. And it's just it's such a pain compared to the soft top Yeti cooler. That's one of the cons of the hard top Yeti cooler. But going on the pro side here, this thing is a stationary cooler. If you're going to go somewhere, put it on your boat, leave it on the boat. You're going to if you grow if you are going to the beach, make sure it's a long day and it's a short walk. <laughs> because this thing is is a pain to move, to move around, but once you get it in its spot, it's fantastic. I, I'd rather take it and leave it on the boat or leave it, um, take it to a ball game at, for tailgating because, like I said, it's a pain to, to move around. It's got, it does have a very nice metal handle to lift it up, which is nice. And that's about it. Like I said, they're very similar in price and similar in size. They are just used for different things. You got a mobility uh, cooler here. The ice retention is fairly good. And you got the stationary cooler here on the hard top. For not very much mobility cooler. So that's my review of the hard top versus soft top cooler. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below if you would like me to do any other coolers. And that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching.